Hello everyone, welcome back to Shock Mania. I'm the Arty Dens. We're going to take a look at a movie that is very much from the 80s. Modern movie, but definitely channels its inner 80s. It's called Pizza Party Massacre. Already, that's a cool title. So let's check it out now. No. Ooh, and it's got that VHS look already to it. Nailed the look. Oh, really? Who else is coming? And nailed the cheesy acting too. And nailed the effects. Just like today. And the music. This may be the exact anniversary of the accident. It's even got all those VHS glitches in it. This is a legit trailer, by the way. Petey Pizza Face. <laughs> they say that if you call Pizza World late at night and order a large pizza, they'll come for you. And because exactly he's a delivery guy. Minutes or less. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Oh. So the pizza had like uh, ears and stuff on it instead of, you know, ham. Ah, <laughs> uh, low budget films, this is it. Who gets the last slice? No, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you at all. That is a legit film that is coming out. Uh, from director Hayden Hall. Now, if you want to know a bit about the movie, let's have a look at the synopsis. Peter Monaghan, or as the bullies call him, Pizza Face, is a quiet, acne-faced boy who loves working at his father's pizza shop, Pizza World. But after a childish prank goes awry, Peter gets trapped in a burning pizza delivery car and is left for dead. Or so they thought. Now, Petey is back with a brand new look and is hungry for revenge. I love all the references. Who gets the last slice? Find out in Pizza Party Massacre. Now, it does say here that the film is set to release in September of this year, 2024. However, on the director or the movie studio's official YouTube page, um, does say that they don't have a set release date yet and they're aiming for 2025 at a theater premiere. Oh, no, sorry, I'm taking it back. Um, they're aiming for a wider release in 2025, but they are having a screening on uh, Friday, September the 13th, very apt, um, at a place called Mahoning Drive-In Theatre, obviously somewhere in the US, not applicable to most of us. Um, they are saying that it is made, here, here we go, here's what it says. This is made because I love shot on video films and wanted to create something special with my friends. It was 100% self-funded. Every time I had some extra cash left over from my paycheck, it would go towards costumes, lighting, props, supplies, fake light, etc. So this is exactly how um, low budget, very low budget filmmaking should be done. And it, it look, the end result looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I know there are a lot of people out there who hate stuff like this. Absolutely hate stuff like this. And that's fine. You can hate it, but don't hate on the people who do like it and do want to enjoy it and who do want to support a company like this. The company is called uh, Six Slice Studios um, and it's shot on a VHS camcorder. So it's definitely got that look to it. Don't expect super high definition. Don't expect widescreen. Don't expect Dolby Digital or Dolby Surround. Just expect a little bit of fun. We, we are seeing um, you know, a lot of movies taking their homages from the 80s and 90s, and that's great. Um, I'm reminded of the film Muck, even though it was very slickly produced. You know, it, it was um, you know, referencing a lot of 80s and 90s stuff. So that is Pizza Party Massacre. You can see on the screen there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Thumbs up, you're interested. Thumbs down, you're not. I reckon you should give this a thumbs up. I reckon you should give this a try. No, I don't. Uh, haven't received any information from the director, so no, I'm not talking on his behalf or trying to hype up the movie. I just like stuff like this. It's a bit of fun. So I'm the Adidas NCR watching Shock Mania. Thank you for tuning in and enjoying this preview of Pizza Party Massacre. There'll be a lot more coming soon. So if you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.